Let's assemble the four slot rack that is designed to fit four of the SOK battery 48 volt 100 amp hour batteries. Now here we have quite a few parts here on this shelf. I'm gonna go over every single part and how many of each we have. Starting on the right, there is a U-shaped channel. There is eight of those. In the middle, there is the L bracket slide rail, eight of those as well. And let's jump real quick over to the far left. Those are our vertical posts. There are four of those. We have my drill and impact gun. And then there are some screws and we should have 64 of those. Now these are the screws that are gonna hold everything together. These have both a number three Phillips as well as a 10 millimeter hex. I have both tools available and we're gonna see which one works best for this assembly. So let's get to it. First things first, we need to identify top and bottom. This is one of the vertical posts and currently you're looking at the bottom. You can tell because there's a hole where this can be anchored to the floor. The top doesn't have that, it just has an edge that's open as you can see here. Now getting started, I've put in two of the screws here on the corner and the first U-channel bracket coming across the front. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to get started. And then I'm gonna jump over onto this other side and put the other vertical post on there. So now I've gone ahead and added the bottom rail. So now I kind of have like a square shape. And from here, I'm gonna put in the middle two rails. So then once you've gotten all the screws in for the first one, you're gonna to wanna to build the second one following the exact same process. Now luckily, I've already done that. So I've got it ready to go here. So we're gonna back you guys up and then show you how to put the two halves together. So here we are putting in the first one of these L brackets. This is the outside where you uh, don't have that little channel in it, if that makes any sense. So that being said, we just need to put two screws in on the rail right here. And this is in a way gonna act like a kickstand so we could set it on the bottom here and this will kind of rest on the floor to keep things vertical while we take the time to attach the rack on the other side. Then once you've gotten the bottom L rail, I like to jump up to the top one or one of the middle ones. Work your way up, but that way things stay nice and stout and square. After you've got the first two in, jump on over to the other side get the two of those in and then come back and fill in the rest. It'll be a lot easier. With your battery, you'll get a little baggie that has these little square nuts and some Phillips screws. These we will need for our next step, particularly the square ones. We need to insert these in the holes on the rack. To do that, we'll simply need to squeeze them and lever them in kind of like that. And as long as they're sticking out of the front quite like that, then we are good to go. Repeat that for all 16 of the slots on the front if you're using four batteries, but in reality, you only need four per battery. So I've got this on a concrete floor, so it's a little wobbly, but my recommendation to you, if you're putting this on a concrete floor, is to use some 3 8 wedge anchors and anchor it to the floor. You wouldn't want this tipping over if you had an earthquake. That's a hint to you guys in California especially. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a battery and we're gonna put it here in the top slot. Now, once you've done that and caught your breath back, use the four provided screws to secure the battery in place. Once you've got those in, you're done. Repeat the process for as many batteries as you may have, but uh, from there, you're off to wiring. So if this video helped you, thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you for being a customer. We hope to see you on the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Aside from that, stay tuned for more.